Hello viewers! We have another Tempo Storm meta snapshot covering all of the latest developments in Wild just for you. Without further ado, let's dive in. The defining card of this meta snapshot is Secret Passage. The spell has lifted the rogue class to the top of our tier list, with four of five decks featured in Tier 1 coming from Valera herself. At the very top are Miracle Rogue and Pack Miracle Rogue. The two decks play extremely similarly with slight differences in their makeup up to distinguish them. Viewers might remember our last meta snapshot that we chose not to split the archetypes, but both see enough play individually to justify the split now. Miracle Rogue is your traditional build, focused on playing a bunch of cards in one turn to cheat out Scribbling Stenographer, Frostwolf, Warmaster, and Arcane Giant. The pack version is similar, but cuts Stenographer and other cards to slot in Twisted Pack and Wild Paw Null. This version is more aggressive in the early turns at the cost of explosive consistency across all games. The other Secret Passage decks in Tier 1 are Pirate Rogue and Garrote Rogue. Like Miracle Rogue and Pack Miracle Rogue, these two decks share the same core shell. Both rely on pirates for aggression, pressuring hard and early. Where they differ is in their burst options. Garrote Rogue uses an OTK combo with Garotes and Street Trickster. Pirate Rogue, on the other hand, prefers to deal damage over multiple turns with Swordfish. Both are highly effective ladder performers. The only non-rogue deck in Tier 1 is Egg Hunter. The deck is going through a transformation at high ranks to improve its worst matchups. Combo decks are usually a nightmare for Egg Hunter, so players have resorted to a small secret package to flip those matchups into the Hunter's favor. Doing so has kept it relevant even at high legend ranks, where players tend to play decks that naturally countered old builds of Egg Hunter. Dun Baldur Gate is included to tutor the secrets in their most impactful matchups. Those looking for Reno decks should take a peek at Tier 2. Reno Paladin tops this group with a defensive ladder option. The deck steamrolls rogue decks and has game into every aggressive opponent on ladder. After that is Reno Shaman, the balanced and stalwart option. The deck is one of the most versatile archetypes in all of Wild with ways to beat any deck you might come across. Shutter Walk is the ultimate late game card here, with the ability to lock out and effectively end the game against any and all opponents. The final Reno deck in Tier 2 comes slightly lower, but still serves as a viable deck for readers. Reno Druid has had a small renaissance since the nerf to Even Paladin, one of its hardest counters. Ramping into Aviana, Bran Bronzebeard, and Astalor Bloodsworn hasn't been this easy in quite some time. Finally, we have yet another rogue deck in tier 2. King's Bane Rogue rounds out the tier as this meta snapshot's all reliable. The deck is a viable performer despite seeing no build changes in months. Secret Passage pulls its weight again here, carrying the archetype for the last several months. We don't expect it to go away anytime soon. Looking for other options to take to ladder? Our full meta report at TempoStorm.com offers numerous legend-worthy decks for you to try. We also provide thorough breakdowns and analysis, giving you all of the tools you need to reach legend. As always, thanks for watching.